daring pre-dawn jewelry heist has stunned Germany and the world. Thieves broke into the world-famous Green Vault Museum at Dresden Castle, escaping with diamonds, pearls, rubies, and other national treasures. While one German newspaper estimated the loss at more than a billion dollars, officials say the cultural loss is priceless. Phil Black has our story. The target, one of Europe's most valuable collections of treasure, suggests a technically complex, professionally planned and executed movie-style heist. But as this security video shows, it was far less sophisticated. One of the two thieves is seen repeatedly striking a display case with an axe. The museum's interactive tour shows the contents of that case. They escaped with three sets of jewellery, including finely crafted necklaces. Together, the sets were made up of around 100 individual diamonds, pearls and rubies. The Green Vault is famous for its extraordinary, priceless collection from the early 1700s. The incredibly ornate rooms were first built by local leader Augustus the Strong when he was keen to turn the region into a Florence-like hub of art and culture. The collection survived World War II, but the vault's rooms, like much of Dresden, were rebuilt. The museum says the value of the stolen pieces can't be calculated accurately because they're too well known to ever be sold on the open market. But news of the Green Vault raid inspired shock among local officials who say the collection is invaluable as part of the region's culture, history and identity. Das ist ja nicht nur der materielle Wert, sondern es ist der immaterielle Wert. It's not just about the material value, but also the immaterial value, which is inestimable for the state of Saxony. As our state premier has said, overnight the whole of Saxony was stolen from. Police don't know if the thieves had hoped to get away with more, but one extraordinary piece of treasure was well beyond their reach. The famous 41 carat Dresden Green Diamond is currently on loan to the Met Museum in New York. Phil Black, CNN, London. The director of Dresden's state art collection, not mincing his words, he called the robbers cold-hearted cultural barbarians. Phil Black is in London following this story. What do you do with this, with this, uh, with this loot? I mean, it's not like you, they can pawn, you know, rubies from a state collection. I mean, wh how, how are experts saying that they'll even offload this stuff? Well, so the suggestion there is, Hullo, that it's bound for the black market, perhaps yeah. for an illicit private collection, perhaps multiple collections, and even the possibility that these precious jewels could in some way be broken up in order to yeah. distribute them and offload them uh, even more easily. And the directors of the museums in Dresden today, well, they said that is just... And a horrible thought to think that that could be their destiny because yeah. of the importance that they place upon this for the region's uh, cultural uh, and and uh, cultural importance and and identity and that sort of thing. Yeah. And this was a very sophisticated operation. I mean, it, it, it would have taken many people and a lot of planning, right? Well, planning, yes, but I think that security video we had in the story shows how blunt and brutal and low-tech this ambitious smash-and-grab operation uh, was. So, it, simple in those terms, but we learned a couple of details from the police that suggest there was planning involved. One is they found what they believe is the getaway car. It's been burnt out, and we've seen movies. We know that the thieving types like to burn out the vehicle in order to destroy any evidence linking them to it. Another interesting detail is the police... Uh, suspicion which says another fire at a near die a nearby electricity hub was deliberately lit they believe in order to knock out the street lights in the surrounding area and obviously make it easier for them to get in and get out without being seen too much so planning yes but ultimately an operation that was carried out purely by a brute force they literally broke in smashed their way in and they were gone within minutes and it's proven to be very effective because the police are really playing catch up now both the thieves and the jewelry have effectively disappeared Hello. all right well let's hope they find them the thieves and those national treasures thanks very much phil black